Hello, I'm Lily, and today I will be explaining selective mutism and how you can help. I chose this topic because I myself live with selective mutism, and I want to spread awareness about it because the more people know, the more they can help. According to the Selective Mutism Association, selective mutism is best understood as a childhood anxiety disorder characterized by the child or adolescent's inability to speak in one or more social settings, despite being able to speak comfortably in others. At the end of this video, I hope that you will be able to become more aware of people around you and overall be able to reach out to these people. Even just saying hi in the halls can go a really long way. One important thing to note is that people with selective mutism can speak, and most of the time they do want to speak, but they physically cannot in certain situations. So making someone comfortable in an environment by showing kindness and patience can really help. And the more people recognize this, the less anxiety they may feel in that environment. Ways that you can help people with selective mutism are talking to them but allowing for warm-up time like i said maybe just saying hi another way to help is talking around the person like if there are people there that you know they are comfortable with then talking to those people to get them used to you being there can help in their in heightening their comfort levels focusing on body language because if someone is feeling greater anxiety by being talked to and you can see that in their body language, you should probably slow down on the warm-up time. Less than one in five adults have ever heard of selective mutism. As for the ones who personally know a child or adolescent that may have it, the statistic only increases to three in ten. With such a small amount of adults knowing about this, parents can have a difficult time figuring out what may be wrong, which is why we need to spread awareness. Some myths about selective mutism are that the children are silently manipulative, they have autism, or it's connected to abuse, neglect, or trauma, but none of that is true. The ideal time for this to be presented would be at a school assembly or a parent meeting at the beginning of the school year so that when the parents are aware and the kids have it fresh in their minds while interacting with their peers on the first day back. If you are interested in learning any more about selective mutism, I recommend going to selectivemutism.org, which is run by the Selective Mutism Association. I also re recommend a very interesting documentary that can be found on YouTube. To find it, all you have to do is look up Origin Selective Mutism Documentary, and it should be the first to come up.